hematuria is the presence of blood in the urine that is either visible to the naked eye or it could be non-visible which is confirmed by urine dipstick or urine microscopy. It is not a normal finding and it is not something you should ignore. It can be a sign of a serious medical condition and that's why you should talk to your doctor as soon as possible. This blood can come from anywhere within the urinary tract. It can come from the kidneys, which remove waste and water from the blood. The ureters, which are tubes that carry urine from the kidneys to the bladder. The bladder, which stores urine. And from the urethra through which urine leaves the body. Hematuria is classified into visible hematuria, also known as macroscopic or gross hematuria. In this type, there is enough blood present in the urine that is visible to the naked eye. The blood is visible in the urine, and the color of the urine could be red, pink, or dark brown. Sometimes this can cause the toilet water to turn a pale pink or bright red color. The second type of hematuria is non-visible hematuria, which is also known as microscopic hematuria, where blood is present in the urine and can only be seen through a microscope, or dipstick positive hematuria where blood is present in the urine on urinalysis. Non-visible hematuria can further be subclassified into symptomatic non-visible hematuria, which refers to confirmed hematuria, and the patient presents with symptoms such as renal colic. Renal colic is a sudden, severe pain in the kidney area caused by the obstruction of urine flow from the kidney to the bladder. The other symptom the patient could present with is suprapubic pain. The other subclass of non-visible hematuria is asymptomatic non-visible hematuria and this is confirmed hematuria with no associated symptoms. Besides existing diseases that are known to cause hematuria, which we shall discuss in a moment, the following actions may increase a person's chances of having blood in their urine. And this are family history of kidney disease or kidney stones, overuse of pain medications such as aspirin, and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory pain relievers. Antibiotics like penicillin have been linked to an increased incidence of urinary bleeding. Post-infectious glomerulonephritis, which is kidney inflammation after a viral or bacterial infection. Age is also a risk factor. Many men older than 50 years have occasional hematuria due to an enlarged prostate gland. Exposure to certain chemicals. Smoking. Exposure to radiation. And running or jogging for long distances. There can be a number of different causes of hematuria, but the most common causes include urinary tract infection, kidney stones, urethelial carcinoma, which is the most common type of bladder cancer, benign prostatic hypertrophy, and adenocarcinoma of the prostate. Other causes are injury to the urinary tract, pyelonephritis, which is UTI that has reached as far as the kidney prostatitis which is an inflammation of the prostate, and cystitis which is an inflammation of the bladder both usually due to infections, and sickle cell disease. Sometimes a patient may present with a colored urine, usually red or brown urine in the absence of hemoglobin or red cells. This is known as pseudohematuria. The causes of pseudohematuria are medications such as methyl dopa or rifampicin, myoglobinuria, hyperbilirubinuria, Foods like beetroot, rhubarb, and blackberries. For gross hematuria, your urine may be pink, red, brownish-red, cola-colored urine, or tea-colored. If passing clots, it can be very painful. Frequent, painful and urgent urination. Nausea and vomiting. Fever. Pain in your abdomen and unexplained weight loss. Bloody urine should never be ignored. It could be an important warning sign to a possible health problem. Your healthcare provider will take a medical history and perform a physical examination. Your doctor may order the following tests, and these tests include urinalysis or urine dipstick testing. Prostate specific antigen testing may be indicated in patients where prostatic pathology is considered a possible cause of hematuria. Baseline blood tests, such as full blood count, urea and electrolytes, and clotting factors. Urine culture to test for infections urine cytology, cystoscopy, and CT scan. Management mainly involves treatment of the underlying pathology. For hematuria that is caused by a UTI, antibiotics is given to clear the infections. If hematuria is due to stones, a shock wave therapy to break up bladder or kidney stones. Medication to shrink an enlarged prostate. 
the doctor probably will do follow-up tests to make sure there's no more blood in the urine. The following can be done to prevent hematuria. Avoid smoking, minimize your exposure to chemicals, and drink enough of water to avoid bladder cancer. To prevent stones, drink plenty of water and avoid excess salt in certain foods like spinach and rhubarb. Drink plenty of water every day, urinate right after sexual contact, and maintain proper hygiene to avoid infections. And that is all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time.